M0FXV, welcome back to my videos on the Yesu FTX1. So we have got some APRS receiving and transmitting. Now we haven't got a GPS antenna here. I did try one with a 2.5 jack that I had, but it didn't work. And you can see it hasn't got a lock there. So we've set it to fixed position. The way we did this, you hold down the function knob, just back out from here. Completely hold down function. Go to extension and then See here, my position at the top, you just go right and left, you can go GPS or manual. When you go in manual, you can enter these and it's really simple, just enter your position. And then back out completely. So that will allow it to now transmit when you when you hit Beacon TX here. So in this window, you've got your APRS. We've got some received ones here, look. Just a couple there, look. That's me, you know, just testing it, right? So let's just go back. And so on the left, we've on the left hand side we've typed in one four four eight hundred. Just tap it, select your frequency with this knob, and then make sure you're in FM. So hold down the NW button, FM. Okay, and that works fine for me. Now we'll go back into holding the function down, and go to APRS settings at the top where it says done, I'm showing you what I've put in. So I've told it to use the sub and all these get highlight highlighted and you can tap right and left. Um, definitely 1200 on mine. And then I didn't really touch anything else here. Message template, well, I just put something in there, say ham, T-E-C-H, enter, there you are, I put that one in there. Uh, symbol, I've just left it default, but you can see it says car and digipath, again, default. I haven't changed that. I wonder what it will change to. Yeah, wide one and wide two. All right, we'll try that, okay. Okay, so sorry about this. It's a bit of a glare here at the moment. Right, I think I've got rid of it. So now, once you've done that, it should say A12 here for 1200 board rate. Now, I didn't set a board rate. It just sort of did that. In the manual, it said set board rate. So then I went back here and I just literally went... APRS Beacon TX and watch what happens. And it, the reason it's showing the DE thing is because it's received it before. But if we go function, let's see if we can get delete that. Uh, press and hold function, no, tap function, list. And if we delete them all. Okay. Because what it does, for some reason, if they're already there, it won't, you know, it won't, you know, it won't show them, right? So let's try again, Beacon TX. Now, of course, you need to be out and about. You can see there, it says Yesu. Oh, <laughs> I went and lost it. If you go F menu, station list and tap it, you can see it again, F menu. There it is there. Just forgotten how to scroll through it. Ah, there it goes. Off duty station text is going to give me the ham tech. No, it's not showing ham tech. Uh, it's just showing the car. So that's fine. So now if we just back out and then go F menu and go Beacon TX, it now goes the other way. Now it did show one just now, but we look at the station list. APRS uh, station list. Sorry. Is it going to let me do it? Let's back out and then we'll go back in. We'll try again. I just rebooted it. F menu. Yes, it's got it, but it's in the it's because it's already had it. So press and hold F menu. And not in that one. That's the message list. Ah, it worked. Oh, that's someone else. So you can see the information there. How do we scroll through? Can we turn this? Right, okay, well, you see that it worked, it received. Let's press F menu. And then mess. No, we just did that, didn't we? I think they need a dedicated APRS menu, I think. I don't know, it's, it's hard to say. So this is everything received at the station there. And to go back. Like so and there's 
There's me from earlier. Oh, you can TX from that screen. That's good, isn't it? And you can delete it as well. What's raw? Do you get, oh, you get more information. Cool. Don't know how to scroll through it, but it's cool that you get more. Back. Um, I like the fact that you can beacon TX from the screen. And there you are, I just came back in there again. So, yeah, you know, I'm not like expert on this, but it is working. I'm sure that there's more tweaks to do, but it is working. And, you know, I still think it's super impressive. You know, one minute you're doing that, the next minute you're listening to, to UHF. Yeah? Then if you want, if we just turn right down here, we can go, let's go single mode. Look at the screen changes. Single mode, let's hold down mode to lower sideband, then band, 40 meters. Oh yeah, we've been playing around with FTA. We sort of got it working, but it wasn't perfect. Oh no, the, oh my God, the conditions are terrible. And we've even had my ATU working quite well. The budget one that you can get for 70 pound. We've got my desktop mic on there as well. The, the, uh, is it the 70 MD 70. And we got my PA50 amplifier working as well. Oh, I just think it's fantastic. But I agree that, you know, you don't forget when you buy something that costs that kind of money. And that's it, really. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. That's my uh, sort of APRS TX video. Bye for now. Lots more videos to follow.